Hi, I'm Dr. Capone and I want to welcome you to Navarro College Petroleum Technology. This 17,000 square foot facility was built in 2010, we moved in in 2011, and it was built thanks to the generous contributions of our two sponsoring companies, XTO and Encana, along with the Navarro College Board of Trustees. And we've been excited to be in this building ever since the beginning. Students graduating from this program since 2009 have been trained for a variety of applications in oil and gas production. Those job descriptions include lease operator, natural gas processing plant operator, and pipeline operator. And more than 200 graduates from this program are now working in full-time positions for companies like Chevron, XTO, and Canna, Marathon, Anadarko, and numerous other small companies. So perhaps we can take a quick tour of the building and I can show you what the students are being trained on during their semesters of study. Just before we go into the lab, I'd like to point out that when we designed this building, we specifically designed it to have classrooms and laboratories that were linked as pairs. So what I'd like to do now is take you into the laboratory. We emphasize safety in all of our operations, so let me get this hard hat on and let me show you our well site training facility. Let me welcome you to our well site trainer. The sounds that you hear in the background we'll talk about in a minute. They're actually flowing gases, liquids, and waters moving through this equipment just like they would do on a production oil or gas site. The starting point for our well site is the wellhead. This 5,000 PSI wellhead, which was donated to the program by GE Oil and Gas, is being fed at its base by an air compressor that's outside the building. That compressor supplies compressed flowing gas into which we mix oil and water at a ratio that we decide to put in. So the base of this wellhead is being fed by water, oil, and gas, and that mixture of fluids is going through the rest of the processing equipment in the facility. The first stop for this mixture of gas, liquid, and oil is our three-phase separator. This device, on every oil and gas well site that you'll see, or some version of it, is responsible for separating the water, which we're going to have to dispose of, from the oil as a liquid that we can sell to a potential customer, and the gas as a gas, which we can also sell to a potential customer. By having a fully operational three-phase separator in our laboratory, we can allow students to train on real systems under real conditions. They can hear that dump valve cycling. They can change the set point on the dump controllers. We can do preventative maintenance on the dump controllers. And we can even let them experience what happens when the dump valve sticks open. And as you can clearly hear, there's a big difference between a dump valve functioning properly and a dump valve that's stuck open, venting gas to the tank battery. Once those liquids dump from the separator, they're transferred through flow lines into our tank battery. This tank battery, while miniaturized, has all of the key features that a normal tank battery would have. So again, we can train the students on real systems in addition to the operating systems, around all of our labs, we have workbenches available so that we can train on preventative maintenance on hardware. For example, in this table, you'll see dump valves that are representative of the dump valves operating right now on this three-phase separator. One of the things our students learn is that the gas comes out the top of every vessel that they're experiencing. And in this case, the gas coming out of our three-phase separator flows through that light blue flow line and goes into our next two laboratories so that students in those disciplines can also work on live and pressurized flowing gas systems. We've now walked into our safety lab. As part of our program, students get a one semester course in industrial safety. That includes 
a PEC safe land industry certification that's recognized by most of the larger oil and gas operating companies. We have live systems in this lab as well. We have this meter run, which is fundamentally used for measuring the rate of flowing gas on a well site. In this lab, we use this meter run so that our students can safely learn lockout, tagout, swapping of components, block and bleed, replacing of components, sampling gas lines, all in a safe environment, but under live conditions. The final system we have that comprises part of our well site trainer is our flow computer and meter run. This piece of hardware will be found on any gas processing well and it forms part of our automation and instrumentation program here at Navarro College. It consists of a meter run with an orifice plate meter and a flow computer, one of 13 that were donated by Emerson Process Control. So this system is measuring the quantity of gas, the temperature of that gas, the pressure of that gas that's being produced from the well site trainer live and in real time. So this lab also contains another 12 flow computers identical to this unit that the students are trained on programming the systems, conduct, uh, conducting uh, troubleshooting of the instrumentation, installing sensors, and even a little bit of programming and networking to round it out. Well, I want to thank you for participating in our tour and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to get started training for an exciting career in oil and gas operations, I certainly hope that you'll check us out at petroleum.navarrocollege.edu. Registration for the upcoming semester begins shortly, and we'd certainly like to have you join us for the next semester. Have a great day.